Okay, time to learn another useful and cool feature. We're going to use this top keyword here. So it says, who has the top 10 clout scores? Okay, who it's referring to tweeters, not tweets. Uh, however, the clout score is not kept in the tweeter table. Why would that be? Well, if you remember from this assignment previously, if you worked on this in a previous chapter, clout score changes depending on how well your tweets are retweeted. So for example, um, we've got, I think this is the same person right here. Let's go look over this side. Tweeter. Yep, this is Tweeter 4, all three of these right here. So Tweeter 4 puts out a tweet right here that doesn't get reshared at all. Or, sorry, doesn't get retweeted. So the cloud score goes down to 59. And the next time he or she tweets, they actually got three retweets, which put their cloud score back up to 60 for the next time they retweet it. So cloud score is a changing thing, and it's kept over here in the tweet table. So let's build our query appropriately here. Let's select. It says who. It says return their names and scores. So I'll say F name, L name, and clout, I think, is the name from the tweet table. Yep. Okay, so we're going to have to pull this data from both tweeter and tweet. Now we're going to need where. Let's tie those together. Tweeter dot... Uh, tweeter ID equals tweet dot tweeter ID. Let's make sure that I've got that right. Tweet, um, let's make some of these a bit smaller here, especially this text one, which is getting impossible to use. So, yeah, it is tweeter ID. Oh, sorry. All right, I officially give up. Okay. Uh, tied those together, um, sort them by score descending. So let's go ahead and put in our order by um, clout descending. All right, so it says hint use top 10. Here's how we do this now. We're going to say we want F name, L name, and we're actually going to have to move clout. So there's a special keyword we want to use called top 10. Now, whenever we use this, and that, as you can see, it implies we could actually use top one, two, three, four, through whatever we want. Whenever we use this top, though, we actually have to move it up here to the front of the list. It's got to be in first position. However, the problem said just to return their name and scores. It didn't say what order to put in, so I think we're okay. Run that, and here we go. Here's the clout score. Uh, Irene Dowd has the single highest cloud score, followed by Gavin. Um, Pierce Payne tweeted a lot. And so uh, he, or I think that's a he, is listed a lot of times. Now you might be asking yourself, well, hey, there's 20 results. We only asked for top 10. Can you figure out why? Well, a lot of people were tied here at number three. So it goes ahead and it lists everybody um, when there's a tie until it goes beyond um, whatever the number is that you asked for. So if we limited this to top three, it would still do the same thing because the third one is 81, so it's got a list 20. However, if we say top two, run, we only get those two because there's not a tie for 82. Anyway, I'll leave it back to top 10. And that's it.